Good afternoon, sports fans. Almarsh College here today to take on Olivet College Comets. Almarsh returns home from their DePauw tournament where they finished with a one and one record, losing the first one to Wabash College and winning the second one against Purdue University North Central. You ready for starting lineups here for Olivet? Number 22, Eric Mack at guard will start. Number 33, Jaron Edsel, the other guard. And the starting center, number 34, Matt L. For the comments. Along with number three, Marquise Childers, and number 20, Alvino Ashley. The comments are coached by head coach Gene Gifford. And now we get ready for the starting lineups for your Elmhurst College Blue Jays. guys doing their normal game routine. Here we go, number one, Deontay Foster, the 5'11 guard, the junior. Number five, James Robertson, the other guard, 6'3", 170 pounds, the other junior averaging eight points a game for the Blue Jays. At forward, number 23, Jerome Robinson. The other guard, number 24, Zach Boyd. And number 25, Nick Sanford, will be your starting lineup for your Elmer's College Blue Jays today. Head coach for the Blue Jays, Mark Scherer. Assistant coaches, Chris Martin and Nick Michael. As we get ready for tip, as I said, the Blue Jays return home with a record of two and three coming back from DePaul University. Our officials this afternoon, Ron where they finished one and one. Again, losing to Wabash College, 59 to 67, and coming away with the second game in the tournament, a victory, 66 to 56. The Olivet College comments come in this game, one and four, finally snapping a four game losing streak on Monday by beating Anderson University, 85 to 77. as we await the Blue Jays to take the court for the opening tip. Tonight's game is a sixth meeting between these two schools. Olivet leads the series four to one, and let's hope the Blue Jays can get away with a W here today. Jerome Robinson will be in the middle for the tip for the Blue Jays, along with Matt L for the Comets. And the opening tip is away. And the Comets have it. Eric Mack passes it out to Marquise Childers at the top of the key. Back to Mack. This is over to Childers, top of the key again, down low, looking for his big man, Matt L. Dishes it back out, cross pass. Mack dribble, penetrates, dishes it back up top to Childers, who calls out the play. Guarded by Dante Foster. Jump shot, no good and rebounded by the Blue Jays. Jerome Robinson. Top of the key, that's James Robertson. This is down low, hook shot, blocked. Rebounded back by the Blue Jays. Top of the key, Deontay Foster. Down low again, wide open, and one. Nick Sanford with the Nice layup and then hit from behind as he's going up. He'll go to the free throw line to shoot one. Nick Sanford averaging 10.8 points a game and eight rebounds. The big force down low for these Blue Jays. Sanford releases. It's away and it's good. And just like that, the Blue Jays are up 3 nothing. And here comes the Comets. Crosses half court. That's Childress. This is it out to his guard, Jaron Edsel. Looks to penetrate to the line, puts up a jumper. No good. And the ball's out of bounds. It's going to go to the Blue Jays. A hustle play right there by the Comets, but they couldn't hold on to it. 
And here we go. Foster will bring it up the court. Crosses half court. Out to Boyd. Boyd back to Sanford. I'm sorry, Sanford at the top of the key. Back out to Boyd. The three. Count it. James Robertson. Six nothing. Blue Jays on top of the Comets. That's Childers down low to his big man. He puts up a jumper and he'll get it to go. That's Ashley for two. 6 2 Blue Jays on top. 18 minutes here to go in the first half. It's Robinson. Right side, he dribbles across. Back up top to Robinson again. Boyd, Sanford. A lot of passing going on here. Boyd dribbles, penetrates, puts up a jumper. No good. Rebounded by the Comets. They push it forward. Mack out to L, back to Mack. That's Ashley. This is off to L, and he'll put up a jumper. No good. Rebounded by the Blue Jays. They'll push it. Great pass and great layup right there by Jerome Robinson. Deontay Foster seen him from halfway down the court. Lays it up, and it's 8-2 to two Blue Jays on top here in the first half. Comets will bring it up. Dribbles right side. Down low to L. And a wide open. Nice pass right there for the Comets. And two for Eric Mack. As he cuts to the basket, wide open. Deontay Foster will bring it across the timeline. This is it to the L, to his big man, back to, back to Foster. Robertson coming up to the top of the key. He'll put up another three. Front rim, no good. Rebounded by the Comets, L. Childers pushes it down low. He looks for his, his guard, Alvino Ashley who lays it in for two, eight, six. The Comets cut the lead. There's Robinson looking down low, nowhere to go. Back up to Foster. Foster dribbles. Top of the key, back to Sanford, who takes it to the hole. Dishes it out, tipped away, but kept by the Blue Jays. Robinson down low again. Sanford. Swatted away by the Comets L. And here comes Olivet College. Childers with the ball at the top of the key. Heavily guarded by Foster. Passes it back out. Gets the ball back at the top of the key and Childers drops home a three. And just like that, the Comets have taken the lead 9-8 here with 15-28 to go in the first half. Foster brings it up, barking out the play. Looks for a shooter. Robinson takes it baseline, puts up a jumper. Might have been tipped. Regardless, the Comets come away with the loose ball. Childers back to L to the corner. That's Mack. This is it out to Ashley. Back out to Childers who will start the offense over again. Nice cut right there by the Comets. Put up a shot, no good. Rebounded by the Blue Jays. Foster right side. Dribble penetrates, takes it to the hole. Dishes it out to Robinson. He hangs on to it. Back to the top of the key to Jerome Robinson who puts up the jumper. Missed, tapped right back in by Zach Boyd. 10-9, 14-28 here to go in the first half. Blue Jays on top. Mack with a jumper, no good. Rebounded, tipped out of bounds by Olivet College. Jaron Edsall tipped that out of bounds. Mike McCurdy's gonna check in as James Robinson will take a seat. Foster bringing it up, crosses the half court. Left side. 
And we've got an offensive foul. Foul charge to Nick Sanford. On Nick Sanford, his first foul. And we've got another Blue Jay checking in. That's Eric Dornfeld. And it looks like Nick Sanford will take a rest here. At the 14-minute mark, Comets bring the ball up. Childers, left side. Big shot right there from his, rebounded by the Blue Jays. Pushed on court. Shot went up, missed, rebounded, put back up right there. There's a good layup. Strong, strong drive to the basket by Zach Boyd, who lays it up for two. He didn't give up on that play. After a wild shot, he continued to head towards the basket, gets his rebound, and puts up a second chance shot. Something the Blue Jays will probably need here today. Childers for three. No good. Tipped around, rebounded. Eric Dornfeld comes down with that one. McCurdy dribbles it up. This is a down low. Good hard pass. Way to back it in. That's Jerome Robinson with another basket. Boxed out his defender. Easy layup for the Blue Jays. 14-9, 12-58 here to go in the first half. Blue Jays on top by five. Comments have the ball top of the key. Three-point shot attempted by Mack. Air ball. It'll return back to the Blue Jays. And we've got a timeout by the Comets. 14-9 here in the first half. 12.46 to go. So far, a very quick-moving game. It seems as if the height of the Blue Jays may come into effect here. As we've seen a couple times here already today, they've been able to back up and back down the Comet defenders and get some easy layups. Quickness will also be something we'll see here today as I think the Blue Jays may have the first step on the Comets. Marquise Childers, however, though, a good point guard for the Comets. Will do everything he can to keep these Blue Jays, keep these Comets in this game. Again, 14-9 here in the first half. Blue Jays up by five. As we get back to the action. Ball will be inb inbounded by Mike McCurdy to Deontay Foster, who will carry it across the timeline. Right side, looks for McCurdy. Dishes it off. McCurdy's got it. Dornfeld dribbles. Nowhere to go. He traveled. Trailing violation on Eric Dornfeld. Looked like he just couldn't keep his feet set. And when you take too many steps, they call that traveling in basketball. Childers will bring it across. Guarded by Foster again. He's been on him all game. Could be the matchup to watch today. Nowhere to go. Pass it to the left side of the court. Back to the top of the key from Mack. That's Ashley with it. Dribbles. Out to L. At the top of the key. Puts up a jumper. No good. Rebounded. Tipped around. And the Blue Jays will come down with that. McCourty. Pushing the ball as hard as he can up the court. Dribble drives. He could have should have just put that ball right back up. Tipped around, rebounded, and put back in by Jerome Robinson, who's having a game so far here today, folks. Six points for the big man. Left side comments have it. Jump shot by Ashley in the corner. It'll go. Good for two. 16 to 11. 11.33 11 here to go in the first half. Foster across, out to McCourty. Dornfeld, top of the key. Back to Foster. Zach Boyd dribbles to the left side. Nowhere to go, he tries to penetrate that side. Back up on top, they'll run things over. McCourty dishes it off to Zach Boyd from the top of the key for three, wide open. Nicely played right there, he came off the screen. Nobody in his way. He puts up a jumper for three, and that's good. Comets ball. And another wild jump shot by Jaron Edsall from the right side of the court. No good. Rebounded by the Blue Jays. They'll bring it across, and we've got a whistle. And we'll see what the call is. Five yards to Alvin Ashley. His 
Zach Boyd, seven points so far here in the first quarter. It's been the Boyd Sanford show, Robinson show, excuse me. And Robinson and Boyd will, uh, will get a break here. James Robinson will check back in. And Brandon Grubel also checks in here today. Inbounded from the baseline, Robinson, top of the key to Sanford. They'll look down low to Dornfeld. Nice pass. A cutting, slashing Mike McCurdy. Misses the layup, but he'll take shot. He'll take two shots here at the free throw line. Nicely executed right there. Just couldn't finish. Dornfeld seen him cutting. Quick pass across the middle. First free throws up and no good. 19-11, 10-33 here to go in the first half. Second free throws away, and it's good. Mike McCourty, one for two at the line. And here comes the Comets. Across the timeline. Ellis for three, no good. Ripped down out of the air by McCourty. And again, pushing it forward as hard as he can. Quick pass down low. Shot put up by Sanford, no good. Rebounded. Saved by the Comets, but right back to the Blue Jays. Grubel goes up, wild shot, he's hit, and he'll go to the line for two. The Blue Jays in attack mode here in this, in this first half. And you can tell by the score that it's paying off. You can see the aggression just a little bit more on their side is that they want this game just a little bit more than Olivet's looking to have it today. 20 to 11, the first shot of the free throw attempt is up and in and out for Grubel. The freshman getting some early playing time here, averaging 2.4 points a game. Shot is away. The second one is good. One of two. Comments will bring it across. Childers. Out to Mac. Mac drives. No good. Blocked. Grubel. Dishes it out, quick pass across court, and there's an easy layup from Mike McCurdy. Wide open, great pass from Grubel. He put his head up, focused on the pass, a great chest pass across the court, and hits it. So here we are, Blue Jays up on top, taking a lead here, pushing this. Two for four from the line today. And as I said, the aggression just seems to be a little bit more on the Blue Jays' side as they keep pushing the ball up the court. When you watch the comments here, you can see they kind of slow things down coming up trying to get the offense set. And the Blue Jays just taking advantage of that, and every time they do, they're scoring. Continue to see what lineup they get to go with, but right now it seems like anything that Coach Shearer puts out is going to work for these Blue Jays. 23-11 here at Elmhurst College. Again, as I said earlier, this is the sixth meeting between these two teams. Blue Jays looking, hoping to get a win here. Get the series back to four to two. Transition baskets have been huge, and they're going to continue to be big in this game. As it looks like we're about ready to get back to play. We'll see what lineup the Blue Jays come out here with. Anybody new faces step on the court? Looks like Blake Crum has subbed in for Olivet, along with Paul Lombard, who is their big 6'9 center. We'll see what kind of damage he can do here. Children still out there. We've got an early foul. And it's going to be on Grubel, his first foul on the Blue Jays. That's the team's second team foul this half. Ball being bounded by Crum. Baseline, they got nowhere to go. Got to get away, Just does just in time. Out to Eric Mack, who dishes over to Marquise Childers at the top of the key. They'll get the offense going. He dribbles right side. Down low to the big man. Lombard dishes it off to Crum. Crum puts up a shot, and it's good. A little running jumper right there for the Comets. McCurdy will push it across. 
Deontay Foster getting a break here. McCready will run the point. Good idea, nice pass. Deflected down low. Rebounded and went back up for the shot as Eric Dornfeld. He'll go to the line for two. And the ref, you can see, explaining to Brandon Grubel what he did wrong, it looks like, as they crack a smile. Dornfeld to the line for his first shot of the day. And he hits it. And again for his second. Front of the rim, no good, bounces down. Rebounded by the Comets. Childers. Top of the key, back to Childers. Cross court. That's Mack, no good, rebounded, brought down by James Robertson. Pushes it right side. Dribbles to the hole, dishes it out. Grubel for three. Count it. Wide open in the corner and knocks it down. 27-13 first half. Blue Jays pulling away with this one early. Childers stops his dribble. Good defense there by McCurdy. Crum, top of the key. No good, rebounded. Pushing it ahead, Grubel. Out to Robertson for three again, and that's good to go. And just like that, a quick 6-0 run on two threes for the Blue Jays makes this game 30-13 with eight minutes here to go in the first half. Childers across court and out to Mack, who hits a three. Trying to revive this Comet offense. McCourty will bring the ball up as he crosses over the Blue Jay mascot at center court. Out to Robinson, back to McCourty, to Grubel, right side. Cross court pass, Robinson down low. Sanford dribbles, dishes, back out to Grubel. Grubel drives, lays it up, no good. Nice aggressive move, just couldn't get it to fall. Rebounded by the Comets. Childers, nice defensive play right there. By right, Robinson tipped it. Ended up being the Comets to get the ball back. And Sanford comes down with the big rebound. Out to McCourty. To Robinson left side. No dribble penetrate. Puts up a jumper. No good. And we've got a foul. I think the ball is staying here on this side. Looks like that is on the Comets. And that is going to be on Dakota Ellis. And Paul Lombard, the big center, will check out for the Comets. Nick Sanford will take a break for the Blue Jays. And it looks like Eric Dornfeld will, will come back into the game, along with Deontay Foster. He's got a little breather. Foster at the top of the key has the ball. Zach Boyd checked in as well. Robinson to Foster. Right side cross court. Robinson puts up a fake shot. Dribble drives. Foster. From the corner, three-pointer, and he gets it to go. And suddenly the Blue Jays are putting on a clinic here. Three for three for threes in their last couple shots. And we're going to get a missed shot. And the Blue Jays will retain the ball here. Robinson. Gives it to Foster, who crosses half court. Dribbles left side. Out to Boyd. Backs his way in, puts up a shot, no good. Rebounded by the Comets. And now they look to push it. Bergdorf. Setting things up for these Comets. There's Crum, left side, down low to L. Puts up a jumper, nice move. Got the Blue Jays to jump, went underneath and lays it up. I don't know if he called glass though. 33-18, just under six minutes here to go in the first half. Boyd, left side, top of the key to Dornfeld. 
This is our right side to Robertson. And we've got a turnover here. And it'll go back to the Comets. You don't want to let the Comets back in this game at this point. You had a nice big chunk of a lead. And you don't want to make bad mistakes here and give them anything to cut this down to single digits. If you're the Blue Jays, you want to continue to pressure them on, all, on defense and, and get those turnovers and push those into points. Points off turnovers are huge in any sport. Crum dribbles out to L. Had an open lane, a little anxious, took a step. And he'll get called for traveling. Steven Willock will check in for the Comets. And it looks like Nick Sanford heading towards checking in when the next break is. So here we go, back to play. Foster, top of the key. Dribbles right side, takes it to the hole, puts up a wild shot layup, and he's banged around, hits the ground hard. Shot doesn't go, but he will take two free throws out of that. And he'll say thank you very much to the Comets. As I said, I think speed here is going to be a huge part of this game. I think the Blue Jays just have the better first step. And at this point, continue to just drive to the hole because you're going to either make the basket or you're going to shoot two along the way. First shot to Foster, no good. Nick Sanford checking back in. Dornfeld will get a breather. Foster's second shot, gets it to go. 34-18, Blue Jays on top. Five minutes here in the first half. Down low, taken away by Sanford. Pass intended for L. That's Bergdorf on the turnover there. Foster dribbles, caught it up. They're gonna call for double dribbling. Foster just lost control of that one, got stuck in between his legs and couldn't quite get it down again. Comets ball. Bergdorf, Foster guarding him. Left side. Nice defense there applied by Foster, causes a turnover and they'll be back to the Blue Jays ball. A wild pass by the Comets as defense was applied by Foster. Couldn't get it down low to his big man. Robertson, top of the key to Sanford, dribbles to the left side. Boyd. Passes to the right side. Top of the key to Robinson again. Foster, a lot of ball movement here. Seven on the shot clock. Jumper put up. No good. And the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Comet's ball. Zach Boyd attempted to pick that one up. Couldn't come away with it. And Jerome Robinson will take a seat. Eric Dornfeld will get some more playing time as he checks in. Marquise Children's back for the comments after you take a lengthy rest. Top of the key down low to L. Nice pass. L can't finish. Tipped around. And it's staying here. Surprised none of the Blue Jays went after that one. It was almost three on one. White jerseys to red jerseys trying to get that ball. Edsel will throw it in from the baseline. 339 here in the first half. Looking for somewhere to go. Out to L. L puts up a jumper. No good. Back of the rim. Boyd tips it up, tips it up to himself and comes down with it. Robinson will bring it up the left side. And an open three for Zach Boyd. Robinson found him in the right side corner. He's got 10 on the day. 37-18 here, we come upon three minutes. L, no good, wide open net. Couldn't get it to finish, rebounded by Dornfeld, who dishes it out to Robinson, left side. He looks to put up a three, thinks twice about it. Boyd, 
Top of the key, we've got an offensive foul again. Foul charge to Eric Dornfeld. And that's Eric Dornfeld. His first, and he'll ask the ref, sir, sir, what did I do? Ashley and Mack back into the game for the Comets. Purdy back in for the Blue Jays. Ashley will inbound it to Marquise Childress. Give it out to Edsel. Back to Ashley. And a charge on the Comets. Way to set your feet there, Deontay Foster. Foul charge to Ashley, his third. Grubel will check in. Along with Jerome Robinson. Foster, dribbles right side, back up on top to McCurdy. Foster, looking around, left side McCurdy, off the screen, looks for Robinson, he's not available. Dornfeld puts up a jumper, no good. Childress comes flying down, puts up a wild shot, rebounded by Mack. Can't get the second chance to go, and brought down by Dornfeld, and here go the Blue Jays. McCordy, left side. Ah, across the middle, look for, for Robinson. He couldn't handle it. And Comet's pushing it as fast as they can here. And a nice easy layup right there from Mack. And a timeout. For the Blue Jays, 37 to 20. A minute 54 here to go. And it's been all Blue Jays. Speed. And they've been penetrating the, to, the, to the hole. It's been working all the time. They've gone to the free throw line many times here today. Although haven't hit all of them, they're hitting enough. But this game right now is, is getting away from the Comets. The Blue Jays can't stop the pressure. they got to keep pushing it. The second chance points are huge. And they, as long as they keep, as I said earlier, the speed here of the Blue Jays is definitely playing, taking a toll on the Comets. They've been able to come down rebounds, push it left side, push it right side. Most of the time resulting in three-point baskets for the Blue Jays. We've hit a few here today that have helped giving them this 17-point lead. So back to the action. Foster. Left side, Grubel. Dribble. Puts up a jumper. No good. Dornfield fighting for the rebound. He won't come down with it. It'll come down to the Comets. Pushed ahead. Mack. Left side, three-point corner. He hits it. 37-23. Now, if you're the Blue Jays, maybe you tone it down here a little bit. You got a minute and a half. You maybe try to get two, three more possessions here. Be smart. Run the offense. Nothing wild. Get at least, you know, another four points on the, on the scoreboard before you go into half to take some wa a water break. Ruble left side. McCourty. And we've got an offensive foul. Sorry, three seconds. Jerome Robinson. Thought they were going to call him for the push. They get him for three seconds. And he pleads his case as well. As the ref says, get in and get out. Coming up on one minute here in the first half. Childers. Ellis back to Childers. Edsel puts up a shot, no good. And the Blue Jays come away, they're pushing it ahead. Oh, you gotta finish there, gotta finish there. Nick Sanford can't finish on the easy layup. Mack. And it looks like Childers are holding for one last shot. 22 on, this, on the shot clock. A five seconds, about a yeah, seven second difference. Mack penetrates out to L, top of the key. Puts up a jumper, it's good. 37-25. Comets cut the lead to 12. 10 seconds, Blue Jays got to come away with some points here. McCurdy. Robinson. 
Boyd puts up a jumper with a hand in his face. No good. Back iron. And it's halftime, folks. It's 37-25. Blue Jays on top. They've controlled the first half. A solid 12-point lead going into half. They had a 17-point lead at one point. Let that get away. We'll see what the adjustments they'll make in halftime. There's not much that you can say right now. They've been running the ball good. They've been running hard. They've been coming down rebounds, second chance points. They've been out playing Olivet. And if you're Coach Shearer, you might just want to tell them to keep up the same enthusiasm, keep, keep pushing it, keep doing everything you're doing now because right now things are working. We'll see what adjustments are made, though. Free throws have been key here. They've missed a couple, made a few. Three-pointers have really been the... The go-to, uh, what you want to call the go-to way here today for the Blue Jays is they've hit a numerous amount of them from the corner. They've been wide open. Boyd, of course, has a few as he has 10 points on the day. So they'll continue to look for open shots. And again, keep going down low. I think if you've got guys available to go down low, such as Sanford and Robinson, keep doing it. But we'll take a quick break. We'll come back with the second half stats and get ready for the second half. Thirty-seven twenty-five again. Take a look at some first half stats. One that really stood out for me was that the Blue Jays shot five for nine from, three, from the free throw line, and they also were six for seven from three-point range. That's an incredible stat. That's 18 points off threes. That is where the big difference in today's game is. The other thing I noticed is that the Blue Jays have done a great job containing two of the common star, star players, Edsel, and Mac, or Nash, excuse me, usually average 30 points a game. They're only at six here today. So the Blue Jays have done a fine job against two of the common star players. If they can continue to do that, I'm not sure the Comets have enough weapons in that arsenal to make any sort of run here. It's been interesting, though. Again, pushing the ball. They've out-rebounded them throughout the game. 22-16, to 16, Blue Jays lead that. That's been a big part of the game. It's a big part in any basketball game. If you can out-rebound your opponent, chances are you're going to get a lot of second-half chances second shot chances, and you're going to come away with the victory. As we get ready here to go in the second half, the Blue Jays will inbound the ball. Again, leading scorer for the Blue Jays have been Zach Boyd. Pretty evenly distributed points for the Blue Jays here in the first half. And back to play we go. Foster. Robinson. Left side down low, looks for his big man. And an early turnover here. The Comets come out flying, they'll push it. Down low to Mack, he goes up, tries to lay one in, can't get it to go. And to the line will go Eric Mack. The Blue Jays shot 46% in that first half. To the Comets, 32%. These are also the first free throws of the game for the Comets, which took me by surprise because if you can't get to the free throw line, you're doing something wrong. You're not penetrating. You're not taking yourself to the hoop, and that's what the Comets are doing here. They're going to miss both of these. 37-25. Blue Jays ball. Robertson. Drives, goes up strong, left-handed, can't get it to fall, but he'll go to the line for two. Foul is on Matt L, who has led the way for the Comets. Leading scorer for them, Eric Mack. But they have cont contained a lot of the high-scoring players for the Comets. Again, even Matt L, a guy who averages nine points a game. 
He's two for seven from the field, so he's not hitting anything, and, and, and the defense has been pretty well established here by the Blue Jays. As we get the ground cleaned up a little bit by one of the towel boys. First shot is away for James Robertson, and it's good. And the second one is up. And that'll count as well. 39-25. Childers, right side. Looking down low, nowhere to go. Dishes it to his big man. That's Dakota Ellis who puts up a shot. Can't get it to go. He's fouled. And he'll shoot two. And suddenly the comments are finding a way to the free throw line. Jerome Robinson will pick up that foul, his first of the day. Ellis, the free throw line for the Comets. Ellis' first shot, no good. Front of the rim bounces off. And they're called free throws for a reason. You got to make them. His second shot up, and he'll get that one to fall. Biggest lead for the Blue Jays was 19. There's a turnover. A little miscommunication between Foster and Boyd. And they'll talk it off. And the comments will come across. Childers, left side dribbles, puts up a three. No good. Rebounded by the comments. Knocked out of the hands of Nick Sanford. Back up on top. Childers will call it out. Get the offense going. He'll go left side, down low. Dakota Ellis puts up a jumper. And he's fouled. That'll count. And he'll shoot one. He hits this. It's a 10-point game. The first shot. No good. Rebounded by Sanford, who gives it to Robinson. Brings it up left side. Robinson, Foster, left side. Looking for Robinson, top of the key. There's Boyd, right side. Down low. We got a foul on the play. It's going the other way. That's going to be on Jerome Robinson, and he's got two quick fouls here. Oh, three-second violation again. That's his second. Again, you got to get in, you got to get out. If the ball's not there, they're going to call that on you. You can't, can't sit there and call it home. And we're going the other way here. As the ref gives you the old hip check. Foul charge to Jaron Edsel. That's Jaron Edsel will pick up that foul. Second team foul on the comments. And here we go. Foster. Boyd heavily guarded by Mack. Gets it up on top to Robinson. And they're going to call that on the Blue Jays. Some good acting right there, look like by Eric Mack. I think Jerome Robinson has his feet planted, but they're going to say uh, otherwise. So the first two minutes we've gone by, and uh, Blue Jays looking a little sloppy here. Got to get things together up by 11 with 17.45 here to go. L from the L. And there's the charging call. Sanford with his feet set. Does a nice job. Eric Mack will pick up that foul, his first of the game. Deontay Foster calling out the play. This is it to Boyd, left side. Sanford up on top. Foster right side, back to Boyd. Boyd dribbles, penetrates, puts up a jumper. Can't get it to go, tipped, rebounded. Big rebound right there by Sanford. He goes back up. He can't get it to go, and another one brought down by the Blue Jays. And they'll start things over here. Foster, right side. 
McCordy, Hoy, top of the key for three. Wild shot. Hit nothing but glass. And they're going to say that the clock, I don't think, could have been reset there. I don't think he hit any rim. We'll see what they put back on the uh, shot clock, but that was all glass from the looks of it from up here. Thirty-nine twenty-eight, seventeen 17 minutes here to go in the second half. Blue Jays on top of the Comets from Olivet College out of Olivet, Michigan. And they're going to say, it looks like 20 seconds, I believe, it looks like the ref said. 20 seconds on the shot clock, plenty of time. And here we'll go back into play. Robinson will bring it in to Foster. Back to Robinson, right side. And they're gonna, they're got, yeah, they're, that that was a push off. They're gonna get uh, Robinson for that one down low. Look like he give a little shove, and he'll take a break. And here comes Eric Dornfeld, the big six-seven forward from Plainfield, Illinois. And the Comets start things up. Oh, they caught a break right there off the ref. Jumper. Edsel puts it down. That's two for him. 39-30. And the Comets cut it to single digits. So Foster at the top of the key. Dornfeld. Boyd. Back to Foster. Donald looking for his big man. He's got him. Back him in. Good idea. Nice rebound. Gets his own shot and it's saved by the Blue Jays. Robinson, four seconds on the shot clock. Puts up a shot and he'll go to the line. Smart play right there. Time winding down. Take it to the hole. Put up a shot. If it don't go in, you got the chance that you get slapped on the wrist and that's exactly what happened for Zach Boyd. Through the first four minutes, though, the Blue Jays are only putting two points on the board. Not a high-scoring second half for either team. But it's been enough for Olivet to cut the lead to nine. First free throw is up, and it's no good. And that's five for ten on the day for the Blue Jays from the free throw line. 50%. You want to be better than that. The second attempt... Getting ready to go off the fingertips of Boyd. It's up, it's away, and it's off back iron. No good. He misses them both. And the Comets come down with the ball. Childers, left side dribbling. L puts up a jumper. No good. Rebounded. We'll see where that goes. They gave it to the Blue Jays. Looks like it could have been an over-the-back call. But they'll, they'll let the Blue Jays take that ball as it was kind of smacked out of the hands of Robertson. Mike McCurdy will check in. Comments applying a little pressure here, a little full court press. You see how easy the Blue Jays break it and they had no trouble with that. And they're gonna get Mac on the foul. As McCurdy tried to put his head down and dribble around him. That's his third on the day, fifth team foul on the Comets early here in the second half. And Ashley will check in as Mack will take a seat with three fouls here today. Mack been their leading scorer for the day. Blue Jays ball. Deontay top of the key looking for somewhere to go with that. Out to Boyd. Boyd back to Foster. Foster Left side takes it to the hole, dishes it out to Boyd, who comes around the screen, puts up a three, no good. Rebounded by the Comets. Ashley, right side to the hole. Dribble penetration, dishes it out. Ball being fought for. Ashley comes down with it and puts up a jumper off the back glass. He hits it for two, seven point lead here. For the Blue Jays, what was once 19 points, slowly, slowly going away. Turnover right there. Foster, Childers, looking for somewhere to go. Nice 
catch-up defense by the Blue Jays, but it's not enough as Dakota Ellis comes away with two, and it's a five-point game at 14.40 here to go. They get across the timeline, and Mark, head coach Mark Scherer is going to take a break here. 39-34, 14-33 here to go. 19 points, suddenly cut down to five. The second half has been really different from what we've seen in the first half for the Blue Jays. Free throws, they haven't hit one yet. They've scored two points here in the first couple minutes of the second half. Nothing seems to be working for them. They've got to go back to pushing the ball. I think that's what worked. When they rebounded and they ran, they were able to get to the foul line. They were able to put up easy baskets. They're quicker than Olivet from what it seems, what we've seen so far today. If I'm head coach Mark Shearer, I'm telling these guys, get the ball. Let's not slow things down. That's what's getting us in trouble here. Get back to pushing it, penetrating to the hole, and laying the ball up. That seemed to be what was working. As for Olivet, they've come out here strong. They haven't scored a lot of points, but they're playing sound defense. They've got some turnovers. They've forced the Blue Jays into some mistakes. Uh, a couple, you know, the three-second call by Robinson, a couple fouls by Robinson. Things are just kind of taking a different toll. Someone must have tipped over the, uh, the seesaw because it looks like Olivet now has control of this game. So we'll hope the Blue Jays can come out here, get things back together because they obviously had things going correct in the first half. And I think they can get back to that by just pushing it. That's what I think the key to this game is. Be quick with the ball. We'll get back to the game here as both benches will grab some seats. A five-point game. And you hope that the Blue Jays haven't gone cold from the three-point line. That was a big part of the first half. 18 points. Remember that six for seven they shot. So here we go, Foster to Boyd. Up top, McCurdy, right side, back to Foster. Boyd. Dornfeld, Foster, dribble, penetrates from the top of the free throw line. And there you go. Little jumper gets it to fall, 41-34. Blue Jays finally put some points on the board. It seemed like an eternity since the last time we've seen a basket go down for them. Childers. Good defense being applied here by everybody on the Blue Jays. Ashley, right side, screen set by L. Boyd, solid defense. Great defense by Boyd. Rebounded by Dornfeld. They'll push him. McCurdy, take it all the way. He can't get it to go. No call. Shot by the Comets, no good. Loose ball. McCourty saves it. Dornfeld goes up. And the call will be for the Blue Jays. That foul will be on Matt L. And I believe that's his fourth. Now that's their big guy. That's his second, excuse me. And Matt L. will check out. Good hustle play by the Blue Jays. That's what they're going to need here. Long pass from Foster. McCourty. Foster right side looking for somewhere to go. Dornfeld. Out to McCourty. Top of the key. Boyd dribbles right side. Dornfeld, nice cut right there. Jerome Sims Robinson with a great cut to the basket. He put a little move on right there, came top of the key, stutter stepped right back down the lane. Dornfeld didn't miss that one. Defense being applied by Foster. There's Ashley backing in. No good. Rebounded by Foster. Long pass. And there is Jerome Robinson. Get him the ball. He wants it. And just like that, 45-34. Elmhurst College on top. Timeout for the Comets. And as we take a quick break here, we'll Jerome Simpson Robinson. I keep calling him Simpson. Excuse me. Obviously, the big play right here coming off the bench. 
had a big first half, and he's come alive here. Four straight points for the Blue Jays. Again, they're running the ball, playing solid defense. We've seen Foster step it up on Childers, the point guard for the Comets. They'll have to continue to do that, and again, keep it down low. They can apply pressure to these guys down low. They're bigger, and they're stronger, and they've shown it here today, and they can continue to do that by moving the ball and finding Robinson down low. So we get back to the action. And the Comets will throw it in from midcourt. Foster, heavily defense. There you go. He gets it in the Childers, but they made him work a little bit. Ashley, top of the key. Dribbles, drives, no good. Ripped down by Eric Dornfeld. Out to McCurdy, he'll push it right side. Rubles checked in. Dornfeld, McCordy, nice screen set by Dornfeld. Rubel to the key. Dornfeld's got to go up strong with that. He hesitated and, and he'll shoot too, but you'd like to see him go up a little quicker with that. Had the ball wide open in the paint and sort of stutter stepped himself. Wasn't sure if he wanted to go up or not. He needs to finish on those, but we'll take two free throws. 11.55 here to go, second half. Blue Jays up 11. First shot is up and away. And it'll go. Paul Lombard checks in for the Comets. Dornfeld's second free throw. And he'll get that to fall as well. He hits them both. Blake Crum checks in. For the Comets, Childers. Edsel dribbles, penetrates from the free throw line, pops a shot. Front of the rim, no good. Brought down by Foster. And the Blue Jays pushing it. Grub will go up strong, and he hits the layup. There you go. Continue to push it. Like I said, they cannot keep up with the Blue Jays. Edsel dribbles, Foster on defense, staying with him. Down low to Lombard, out to Kroom. Kroom, head fake, puts up a jumper, no good, can't get it to go. And rebounded by the Blue Jays. And Crum comes up from behind and smacks it out of the hands of McCurdy into the stands. Of course, there are no souvenirs for the fans here. As the ball has to go back to the ref. Foster. McCurdy. Foster. Grubel, left side, dribbles. Make sure the big guy. A lot of passing happening here for the Cardinals. Nine on the shot clock. And a wide open, Jerome Robinson. And he's come alive here in the second half. He's got 12 on the day. Just got to make sure to keep him out of foul trouble. Crum, right side. On to L. L puts up a jumper, probably out of his range. And here go the Blue Jays again, pushing it. Dornfeld takes it all the way by himself. Lays it in, it's good to go, 53 to 34. And we're back to a 19 point lead for the Blue Jays. As it's been all transition here for them. Get the ball, push it and go. They've gotten back this big lead by doing that. Continuing to run, continuing to push. Uh, Jerome Robinson playing great here in the second half. He's been a big part of why they're up 19 at this point. Continue to get him the ball. And use the big guy, Dornfeld. He's been solid, coming down with a lot of rebounds here today and being a great passer as well. He's found a lot of open cutters, and he's got to continue to do his role as a big man down low. The guards have also played pretty well here for the Blue Jays. They've kind of gone away from shooting the three, which they were loving early in the first half. Here in the second half, they found other ways to score by 
quick outlet passes and dribbling and take to the hole and free throws. And whichever way it goes in, whichever way it works, that's the way we'll take it. Back up by 19, which was their big lead early in the first half. I think that should be enough to put this game away at this point. However, you don't want to slow down. If you're, the, if you're the Blue Jays, continue to do what you can. Maybe slow it down a little bit. If you, if you can't get the fast break, take some time off the clock. Use that shot clock until it gets down to zero and put up a good, good jumper. So back to the court we go. Ball will be passed in by L to Childress, who is guarded by Foster. Right side, Crum, Mack, he checks back in. Out comes a set of screen, double teamed. Great defense being applied here by the Blue Jays. Nine on the shot clock, Crum, right side dribbles to the hole. Nowhere to go, Lombard, the big guy, taking a wild shot from way beyond his range, and that's not gonna fall. Foster comes down with it. Foster. Out to McCourty. Back to Robinson. To the hole. Grubel. He gets two to fall. 21 point lead here. 55 34. Coming up on nine minutes to go here in the second half. And just like that, the Blue Jays have turned this game around. Lombard. But the fadeaway shot, no good. Rebounded by Sanford. And here the Blue Jays will kind of look like they want to slow things down a little bit. McCourty. Robinson. Grubel. Back to McCourty. He dribbles left side. Spin move. Nothing there. Sanford. He's going to make a call for traveling. And just took that step a little bit too fast before he put the ball down. Deontay Foster will check out, give him a little break. Zach Boyd will check back in for the Blue Jays. And Mike McCurdy will play the role as quarterback for this Blue Jays team. Edsel down low for Lombard. The big man, spin move, no good. Ball bouncing around, rebounded by the Comets. Put back up and brought away by the Blue Jays. Zach Boyd takes it to the hole, puts up a jumper, layup, gets it to fall. Nice move, spin move. Went to his right hand and laid it up off the glass. Clint Bergdorf, bounce pass, tipped away by the Blue Jays, recovered by Mack. Comet. Dakota Ellis for three. He knocks it home. 57-37. Blue Jays still on top here. Robinson. Back to McCurdy. And an open shot for Boyd. He hits it, but we've got a whistle. And Eric Mack will pick up his fourth for the Comets. Again, their leading scorer at halftime. And I believe he continues to be the leading scorer for this Comet team. And they're going to leave him out there. Nick Sanford will shoot two free throws. First one is up. And is that a line violation? Yeah, that looks like a lane violation. Like Lombard moved across the line before the ball was released. And we'll get some substitutions here. Stephen Wheelock will come in for the Comets. Eric Mack will take a seat with his four fouls. Sanford puts up his second shot. No good. Rebounded by the Comets. Bergdorf. Shot put up, no good. Again, a second shot for Edsel. And 
And he drops home a three. 57-40, seven minutes here to go. Grubel up top. Grubel right side. Sanford top of the key. 13 on the shot clock. Ball's tipped around. Got to go. Boyd, nice move. Mike McCurdy. Dribble penetration. And he gets it to fall. 59-40, 6 minutes and 34 seconds here to go. At this point, I think if you're Elmhurst, You've got this game pretty locked up. It's going to be hard for the Comets to do much in six minutes. We haven't seen their offense as explosive as it maybe could be. If you're Elmhurst, just slow things down at this point. Waste some clock. Good passes. Run the offense. Take the open shots. Don't force anything. Continue to hold this big lead, and you should have nothing to worry about. You've got six minutes left in the clock. Be smart with the ball. And you could, you're going to walk away out of here with the win, a big win. Coming back home after the tournament, come back to your home court. You always want to win when you come back home. They're going to get the W here today if they can hold on, not make stable mistakes, which they've done a great job of today. They've been really smart with the ball, which I've been impressed with. Come up here. Down low, up top, everybody seemed to contribute in a, in a great way. Again, the big men playing great. I think hats off to Eric Dornfeld, to me, who has, has played great. He's been a monster down low with the rebounds, and, and the outlet passes has been big. You know, that stuff doesn't show up on stat sheets, but that's the stuff you need to see. When, when you're watching film, you look at that kind of stuff and say, this guy really was, a, was, a, was an X factor for us. So let's get back to play here. Six and a half minutes here to go again. Just be smart with the ball. Run the offense. Don't have to do anything fancy at this point. Comets will bring the ball in. Bergdorf, and we've got a out of bounds on the Blue Jays. It was off the foot of McCourty. Down low to L, who almost wasn't ready for that pass. Ellis, wheel lock, loose ball, Edsel, puts up a wild shot, not going to go. Zach Boyd, right side, brings it up. Out to Grubel for three, no good, in and out. And that'll go the other way to the Comets. No wide open shot like that, you take it. But again, as we said, you're up by 19. You know, there's no reason to to put up those those shots if you want to kill the clock a little bit here. Bergdorf, wheel lock puts up a three, no good. Big rebound right there by Sanford. Dishes it out left side to McCordy, who finds a wide open Zach Boyd for the alley oop. Wow, didn't see that one coming. And you can tell from the reaction from the crowd, I'm not sure they saw that one coming either. 61 to 40. Jumper by the Comets. Dakota Ellis gets it to go. Long pass down court. Boyd, Grubel, top of the key, he dribbles. Down low, Sanford tries to go up strong and he's rejected. And we have a whistle. And they're gonna send Zach Boyd to the line for a one and one. And we've got a line change as Olivet's bringing in Mac is back. Ashley comes back in. Childers will also come back in for Olivet. Dornfeld checks in for the Blue Jays. Ball 
free throw line for up first will be Zach Boyd. And we've got some water on the court. Fine job done there by the towel boy. 4.46 here to go, 61-42. Blue Jays in command of this game. Zach Boyd hits the first of the one and one. He's got 15 on the day. Make it 16 for Zach Boyd. And James Robertson will check out and check in. And Zach Boyd will take a seat. And he'll get high fives for that alley oop dunk he put down a few minutes ago. Childers. Up on top for the Comets. And the defense is just stifling right now for the Blue Jays. Down low to L. Dribbles, puts it up. You can't play better defense than that. That just he just got the roll. Jerome Robinson in his face. Deontay Foster comes across midcourt. Robertson down low looking for Dornfeld. Seems hesitant to back him in. But with his size, he's got to take advantage of that. And a kick out of bounds. It'll belong to the Blue Jays. 3.59 here to go in the second half. Robinson will inbound it. Thornfield, top of the key, he has it. Robinson puts up a three. three and you can put those on the board, three points for Robertson. Comets come back, they come fire in. There's a big rebound by Dornfeld, who's been everywhere today. Foster dribbles, puts up a little jumper from the free throw line and gets it to go. The lead is increased to 24. Childers out to L, nowhere to go. He gives it back to Mac. The Mac attack says no way as he's locked down for a charge. Going the other way. And that's five, I believe, on Mac. Sixty-eight forty-four, three minutes and twelve seconds here to go. And Olivet head coach Gene Gifford not happy with that call as he's talking to the refs. Of course, Eric Mack, their big uh, go-to guy here today, as he led the way for twelve points for the Comets. Well, they've done just about everything right here today, the Blue Jays. It's been, you know, sound defense. They've run the offense well. They've hit open shots. And everybody has contributed. You know, you look at the score, 68 points. But they've done a lot of things well besides just shooting the ball. As we'll wait for the comments to figure out who's coming in for Mac. Let's still head to the end of the bench. Grab himself a glass of water as he's done for the day. And we'll get back to action. 3.12 here to go. Sam Ficker has checked in his first time today. And Michael Jerkovic has also checked in. Some new faces here today with a 24-point lead. Getting some time for some of the younger guys to get a chance to run the... Uh, Run the offense and get things going here. Get a little sweat on them. Grubel dribbles, penetrates, nowhere to go. Robertson says, I'm going to shoot again, and I'm going to count another three for me. Seventy-one forty-four. Crum from the corner. He puts up a three. It'll go. Thicker, out to Grubel. 
Robertson. Fickle says, I'm shooting. Doesn't get it to go. Dornfeld, he'll travel. Couldn't keep his balance, couldn't keep his footwork. And he falls down. And we'll have a lot of new faces again checking in here today. Justin Phillips is going to come in for Eric Dornfeld. Nathan Fernandez is going to see some playing time here in the final two minutes. Comets bring the ball across the midcourt. Bergdorf. Crum, he's going to put up a long distance three pointer. No good. Rebounded by the Blue Jays. Vicker, right side, will bring the ball up. He's got Phillips underneath. Ficker wants a shot. He's going to hit it. That's two for Ficker. Comets with a minute and a half here to go. Down low to Matt Smith. Out to Crum. Crum fires another three. He's getting trigger happy. Ball rebounded by the Comets. Smith. Head fake, no good on the shot. Ripped down by Fernandez. Grubel to Phillips. Under and no, he can't get it to go. And there's a lot of bounce, it'll belong to the Comets. Nice play, good pass by Grubel. We've seen Phillips cutting across. Went for a reverse layup and just in and out as it touched every part of the rim except didn't go down. Andy Lapard will check in for the Blue Jays. Ficker, left side, Fernandez, looking for Phillips. He's got him. Phillips, the big body. Go up strong, big boy. Nice move. Oh, he can't get it to go down. Comments have it, out of bounds. Crum can't hang on to it. It'll be 40 seconds left here to go. Ficker will bring it up. About a three second difference. Shot clock to, to the game clock. Fernandez, left side. Phillips. Lepard calling for the ball. He wants it. Not going to get it to him. Ficker. Cross court. Running shot. Oh, and he hit the ground hard. And that's Fernandez, he gets, he's able to get up on his own power, but he did take a smack on the hardwood. Crum puts up a jumper, no good, off the backboard and is rebounded by Smith. He puts it away, three seconds here to go. Clock will wind down and the Blue Jays will win this game. 73 to 49, they'll move to three and three, back to 500 on the season. A big win here today for the Blue Jays. Olivet College will move to one and five. Impressive game from the Blue Jays. A lot of good things went their way. Three-point shooting. They moved the ball well. And uh, like I said, everybody seemed to contribute here today. It's good to see when they can get some of the younger guys out there to get some playing time in the final couple minutes. Gives everybody a chance to do a little different. Try some things. And, and you get the chance to see what the guys can actually do. So, again, 73-49. We'll take a quick break. Come back with the final stats. And we'll get you an update on what games are coming back for the Elmer's College Blue Jays. We'll be back.
Amherst College comes away with a big victory here, 73 to 49 over Olivet. Some big plays here today. Let's look at some of the leading scores for this team. Of course, we've seen a lot of three-pointers, but Zach Boyd, Jerome Robinson, and James Roberts, Robertson all scoring in double digits. A big game for them. The Blue Jays end up finishing shooting 50%, which is pretty impressive. You know, you like to see a team, if you can shoot 50%, that's, that's a very good day for you guys. Uh, the comments, however, come out not so good. 31% on the game. They weren't really hitting, and that's why the score shows them scoring 49 points. And, of course, the Blue Jays scoring a lot more than that. Uh, we had a great game from three-point range. The Blue Jays shot 66%. That's impressive. In the second half, they were only two for five. Now, remember, the first half, they were six for seven. Big part of why they had the big lead. Overall, this is a very impressive game for the Blue Jays. A good win coming back home. They don't play again until December 7th against Loris College, of course, on the road for the next three games. But it's good to come home here, get a big victory. You move back to 500 before you get into conference play. You've got a chance to win a couple games on the road, which are always important. You can show what kind of team you are if you can win on the road. So, again, final score, 73-49. to Blue Jays come away with a big victory here today against Olivet College. They move the season series to 4-6. and six. So two years from now, hey, we might be 4-4. Four and four. Again, we'll see you guys on December 7th as they play Loris College and hopefully get another win on the road there and move to 4-3. and three. Final score, 73-49. Blue Jays win. I'm Bill Bazo. Thanks for watching today's broadcast on BlueJaysTV.com.